So 97 paper 1 question number 24 we are told the coordinates of the point P and Q are 1 and minus 2 and uh, 4 10 respectively. A point T divides the line PQ in the ratio 2 is to 1. Determine the coordinates of T uh, part B Roman number 1 find the gradient of the line perpendicular to PQ uh, Roman number 2 determ hence determine the equation of the line perpendicular to PQ and passing through T uh, and uh, the final Roman number 3 if the line meets the Y axis at R calculate the distance TR to three significant figures so we are going to apply the ratio theorem among other things so let's make a sketch that is going to guide us how to go about this question so this is the sketch that we are going to use and we say that this is our p and the coordinates of p we have been given uh, one and minus two uh, close the bracket and we have been given q coordinates of q four ten uh, we are told that uh, point T divides PQ in the ratio 2 is to 1. So this is internal division. So let's say our T is there. And this is our O, the starting point. So we are told, uh, determine the coordinates of T. Uh, we can draw a line here from, this, from the origin, that is from O to T. That is the position vector OOT, and we say that uh, the position vector OT is equal to, we use the ratio theorem. Uh, here we have been told it is 2, and this is 1. So it is 1 over 2 plus 1, which is 3, of OP, of OP uh, plus 2 over 2 plus uh, 1 is 3 of OT. So this is equals to, uh, we will get, uh, this is a that, since OP is a position vector, we just invert the coordinates, that is 1 and minus 2, and we do the same to the to OT, that is 2 over 3, uh, OT is uh, 4, 10. So when you open the bracket, you get this is equals to uh, a that, and uh, 2 minus 2 over 3 that is you, you multiply the other uh, multiplied by each and every element uh, close the bracket and you say plus this will be 8 over 3 and the other one is 20 over 10 and you close the bracket so when you add up this this will be 9 over 3 it is 3 and uh, 3 this is uh, 2 uh, here we have uh, made an error so let's correct that uh, so this is 3 because we are multiplying by 3 so when you add you get this is uh, 1 plus 8 over 3 that is 9 over 3 which is 3 and the other one is 18 over 3 that is minus 2 plus 20 that is 18 divided by 3 that gets to 6 implying the coordinates of a t are 3 6 which you can put here 3 6 so that's how you get the coordinates of t uh, let's go to part b find the gradient of a perpendicular to pq so part B, Roman number 1, find the gradient of the line perpendicular to PQ. So we need to find the, 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 the gradient of PQ, which we can say it is a gradient of PQ, it is 10 minus, that is a Y increase minus 2 divided by X increase, which is 4 minus uh, 1. So this is equals to 4 minus 1. So this will give you, so this will be minus minus 2. So this will be 12, it will become positive, divide by 3, 
which is equals to 4. The gradient of PQ, that is PQ, M represent the gradient is. So a line perpendicular to PQ, its gradient must be minus 1 over 4. So M of uh, the line, the other line, multiply by 4 should give, should give you give you minus 1. So it means M is equals to minus 1 divided by 4. Uh, so that is a gr the gradient of the line perpendicular to PQ. Uh, Roman number 2, hence determine the equation of the line perpendicular to PQ and passing through T. So we already have the gradient here. And uh, so this is Roman number 2. Uh, when you have the gradient at one point, that is T is 3, 6, you can get the equation by saying y increase y minus 6 divided by x minus 3 should give you the gradient which is minus 1 over 4 uh, so you cross multiply uh, you say y minus 6 is equals to cross multiply that to give you minus 1 over 4x and then by plus uh, that to give you plus 3 over 4 because of the negative sign uh, you work it out you should be able to get y is equals to y is equals to you take 6 to the other side uh, you get y is minus 1 over 4 x uh, plus 27 over 4 which you can write uh, you multiply throughout by 4 for, that is 4y bring this x to this other side that is plus x is equals to 27. So that is the Roman number 2 of part B. Uh, that's how you work it out. Finally, we have part uh, Roman number 3. If the line if the line meet y axis at R, calculate the distance TR to three significant figures. Now, because we are told that uh, this line um, meets the y axis at R, so it means at R, our x one uh, x is zero. So when x is zero, you can substitute here to get y. So you say four four y plus zero is equal to twenty seven. Divide both sides by four. By four, you get y is equal to twenty seven over four. So the coordinates of um, the coordinates of r twenty seven over 4 0 and 27 over 4 we are required to calculate the distance tr distance is the same as the magnitude and we have our t we already have our t is 3 uh, 6 so to get tr we use this uh, coordinates and say uh, we say it is 0 27 over 4 uh, close the bracket minus uh, 3 6 so that will give you 0 minus 3 is 3 27 over 4 minus 6 um, you get uh, you can say 24 uh, 20, uh, 24 over 4 so 27 minus 24 that will give you 3 over 4 so this is 3 over 4 now we have the column vector tr to get the magnitude or the, the 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 distance tr we get the magnitude tr and to get the magnitude we get the squ uh, the square root of uh, uh, the, the 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 elements of the column vector and that is three this is uh, this is minus minus three squared although it will not give us any difference uh, plus uh, 3 over 4 into bracket uh, squared so this will give you the square root of 9 uh, uh, plus uh, that is in the, that is 9 over 16 uh, you can get the square root uh, you get this is a uh, you get it is 153 it's a square root of 153 divide by 16 and when you get the square root of that you get it is 0 0.09 uh, to three significant
figures. So that's how you work out that uh, and you get yourself two marks. So that brings us to the end of that question. I hope you have understood how to go about it.